The weekend saw figures continue to remain over the 2,000 mark every day for new COVID cases. Compare that to last month when I was reporting to you 20 to 30, with the death count over the two days in dozens. So Bangkok remains the worst affected region, reporting over 1,000 new cases in a single day. Phuket is the first region to revert to full quarantine for any visitors from regions with high COVID counts. So that includes our own area and includes arrivals by vehicle or air. Previously, COVID testing was accepted and local testing was done as well. That's out the door as the governor's committed to returning the island to zero COVID count. In Hua Hin, 112 Burmese migrant workers are reported to have tested positive at a local processing plant. Now sealed off from the public, the factory and staff accommodation is being disinfected. And field hospitals with 250 beds have been set up for those with no symptoms or mild symptoms. Those seriously ill were being hospitalised. In Chantaburi, the popular gem market area has been closed down for two weeks. This after 52 African gem traders were found to be infected. They've now been sent for treatment and anyone who attended Muslim prayers in the locality have been advised to monitor their own health and report any symptoms. Nine student nurses at Tamasat University are reported to have suffered side effects following Sinovac vaccinations. There, a student group claims that from 88 nurses vaccinated, seven had side effects, which included breathing difficulties, fatigue, partial body numbness, dizziness, muscle and chest pains. The Ministry of Public Health has clarified that funerals for COVID patients can safely take place. This after several temples were reported to have refused for the fear of COVID spread. Hospitals, we're told, are sealing corpses in triple-skinned body bags. Obviously, there will be no open casket funerals, but at least for the families, there's relief. And public buses are to be reduced to 70% of capacity, allowing only passengers travelling together to sit next to each other. For others, it's an empty seat either side. Unless, of course, you're next to the window. This, as motorbike taxi drivers are told to wipe down seats and grips between their passengers, and the public's recommended to have their own helmet, rather than using the share helmets carried for public use. Thailand will collect 300 baht tourist fee from all international visitors arriving in the country from the start of 2022. Peanuts, really, to tourists, but together the fund could generate billions that will be allocated to tourist attractions and the treatment of the medically uninsured, with chances being that proof of medical insurance will be a requirement for visitors, those funds will also help with COVID treatment for all. Those storms of last week, well, for one elephant in our own province, it was curtains. It seems it took cover under a tree and was struck by lightning. Vets have confirmed the cause of death of the 40-year-old and a reminder for humans too that taking cover under a tree isn't the cleverest of things to do during lightning storms. When reports of ties and non-ties not wearing masks in public have spread across Facebook, despite the promise of a hefty fine for the stupid, they qualify as covid idiots. Although our covid idiot of the Week award goes to a foolish expat in Chiang Mai who didn't wear a mask at a market, was offered one and instead gave the helpful vendor the middle finger. Like it or not, it's the law. And agree or not, wearing them could help reduce the virus's effect. Think of one business that you like, that's closed. And then, if for no other reason, wear a mask in their honour, in the hope that they can reopen soon. As the region adjusts to the new changes here, takeaway services are seeing an increase in business, with popular venue kitchens quite busy keeping up with demand. A call around the area showed that Sunday lunches, always popular, were being ordered at a rapid rate yesterday, and customer satisfaction was at an all-time high. With the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing, and the Met Office promising a cloudy day, highs of 33 dropping down to 27, but with sunny patches. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin, or program. Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.